Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Now, Rokit kindly invited me to the Formula E racing in London last week. It was absolutely uh, amazing, incredible experience. And they also gave me a pair of Rokit IQ smart glasses. The glasses I got are their sort of, I suppose you call them the budget range end. This is the lower end, they cost about 79 99 pounds or about $89. On the website you have a, a different selection of colours to choose from as well. Uh, if you do want the obviously the more premium, they do the do the premium collection concerto. Uh, these more cheaper ones are the solos. So what do you get in the box? You get the sunglasses themselves and in terms of accessories you get charger and a row kit cloth to keep the uh, smart glasses nice and clean and dust free. So the glasses are made of plastic. You can hear that. Obviously these are the you know the cheaper versions, they're made of plastic. The arms as well on the left and the right are see-through. You can see all the sort of uh, the, the boards and the circuitry going on in there and even the speakers as well. We've got 16 mil speakers in there which are quite big and they do obviously give you that little bit of bass uh, that might be lacking on smaller drivers. So on each arm there is a button, there is a power button for each arm and you can use them simultaneously as well. So you can turn one on on the right and leave the one on the left off or vice versa which I thought was pretty cool. I use them both at the same time and you can also see the metal contacts there at the bottom that's where the charger is going to connect uh, and they're magnetic and they only go one way as well and you're going to get around five hours or more battery life uh, with these smart glasses so you get polarized lenses now these are customizable as well on their website but the ones i've got here polarized uh, lenses you also have two microphones as well built into the arms uh, like i said before 16 mil speaker driver uh, Bluetooth 5 and one click control on the arms as well. So this is also compatible with voice assistant, so Google or Siri. You hold down one of these buttons for a couple of seconds to activate uh, Google or Siri. If you do head over to their website, like I said, you do have the option uh, of many different colours, but you can also design some yourself as well, which is fairly easy to follow. You can choose the colours of your lenses, uh, your frames as well, and obviously the style. So this is what they look like on me. Uh, I would have preferred the black colour. I do own a pair of brown um, normal sunglasses, um, but that was maybe I was just limited to choice there. But if I do, did have to choose between the colours of these, I would have definitely uh, gone for black. I mean, they are comfortable. There is a little bit of creakiness because the plastic and stuff but this is their budget range. If you do want something more premium, then they, obviously you can go for that as well. Uh, we have the Rokit logo there on the side. And I think what you want to know now is obviously how the sound quality, can other people hear it as well? Uh, so I'm gonna show you now me listen to music earlier on uh, at different sort of levels. Uh, see what you think. So this is a phone call. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear. Yeah, I'm just adjusting the volume. It's a bit too loud. Okay. A bit too loud. Uh, but yeah, just doing a, uh, this talking test just for the video. Can you hear me? All right, yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? How's Aria? Yeah, she's 
Have you picked any yet? Picked any sunflowers? I said to I should have picked them last because I'm carrying them around. They're quite big then. Yeah. How much are they, do you know? Yeah, I think they're a pound a stem. Oh. Three, but I would get the I think you can get six or five quid, but right. I just don't know about the hearts is big enough. Yeah. Such thick stems on them. <laughs> Alright, okay. Alright. Well um I'll see you in a bit. I've just turned you whacked right up now, volume. Uh yeah, I'll see you in a bit then. Alright then. Okay. Right. Bye. 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 Beep. So at the end there the volume was cranked right up. Um, it's difficult to say if, if people can hear it, um, like passers by. Um, but that at the very end was at its highest. Um, most of that phone call was sort of uh, just midway volume. I've got a microphone here fairly close. So this should sort of give you an idea as to how much other people might be able to hear um, when you're considering buying uh, sort of glasses like this. Because these sunglasses obviously give you a different way to listen to music, a different way to talk to people. Um, it's not necessarily going up against here, earphones and headphones, because these offer obviously protection for your eyes, uh, the sun, and then it adds uh, music in there for you as well. So that's something to consider. Yeah, so you connect these like any other headphones or earphones, Bluetooth, really, really simple. Um, audio quality is good, and obviously this is offering a different way of listening to music or maybe talking on the phone. Now at Rokit, if you check the website, they actually have a Ronnie O'Sullivan edition. Uh, obviously Rokit and Ronnie O'Sullivan do have some sort of collaboration going on. Uh, so they're high end £199 if you want a pair of those. They do look really, really nice though. Um, but as again, as I keep saying, this is the budget range for the solos and they are comfortable, the audio is good. Um, the phone call I had earlier with my partner as well, they could also hear me as well, and I could hear them. And turning the volume down around about halfway, I could still hear my partner, which would reduce if you are worried about what people can hear and stuff around you. Uh, but a lot of the time, I don't imagine people standing right next to you while you're on a, having a, a phone call. Um, but there it is, that is something to consider as as well. So that pretty much sums everything up. Also need to add that these are IPX4 waterproof. So if you do get a little bit of sweaty betty or there's a little splash of rain, it should be absolutely fine to keep using these outdoors. Keep your eyes protected, listen to music as well at the same time. Uh, and obviously earphones can be a little bit uncomfortable. Might be too tight, might be too loose. Headphones are too bulky, but this gives you a different way of listening to music. That's how I'm gonna round this uh, video up. It's not trying to compete with headphones or earphones. It, it can't compete with headphones and earphones, a totally different way. This is often offering a fresh new way of listening to music and keeping your eyes protected. These are the Rokit IQ Solos. Go and check them out in the link in the description and a big thanks for Rokit uh, for inviting me to the race last week. It was very, very enjoyable. Uh, this video isn't sponsored, they didn't pay me to do this, but obviously they, uh, they gave me some tickets for the Formula E. And um, in exchange, a video about the Rokit IQ smart glasses. I think they're pretty cool. Check them out if you want, guys. Links are in the description below. Thank you all very much for watching. Smash the like button and subscribe. See you soon. Bye-bye.